What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Ken Passion. And I'm Giovanna Menes, and I'm here with your distance learning announcement. Let's get a quick follow-up of the riots with Ashley. Let me be very clear. The scenes of chaos at the Capitol do not reflect a true America, do not represent who we are. What we're seeing are a small number of extremists dedicated to lawlessness. This is not dissent. It's disorder. It's chaos. It borders on sedition. And it must end now. You've heard me say before in different contexts, the words of a president matter, no matter how good or bad that president is. At their best, the words of a president can inspire. At their worst, they can incite. And therefore, I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege. What's up, Wolfpack and Josiah Edwards, and I'm here to tell you more about Trump and the riots. Now that a couple days have passed, new information has been leaked on what happened at the incident. Now investigators are saying that the Capitol riot was planned. The suspects are Donald Trump and other organizations. As of now, five people are reported dead from the incident. Brian Sicknick, who was beaten by the mob, Ashley Babbitt, who was shot by an officer, Kevin Greenson, who fell to the ground in a heart attack, Rosanna Boylan, her death remains unknown, and Benjamin Phillips, who had a stroke. Trump had a few words to say after the incident. Here's what he said regarding the Capitol riots. I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. We must get on with the business of America. My campaign vigorously pursued every legal avenue to contest the election results. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. In so doing, I was fighting to defend American democracy. I continue to strongly believe that we must reform our election laws to verify the identity and eligibility of all voters and to ensure faith and confidence in all future elections. We must revitalize the sacred bonds of love and loyalty that bind us together as one national family. To the citizens of our country, serving as your president has been the honor of my lifetime. And to all of my wonderful supporters, I know you are disappointed, but I also want you to know that our incredible journey is only just beginning. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Just recently, there was a vote that went past to impeach President Trump. This isn't the first time that President Trump has been impeached, but the first vote didn't go through because Democrats did not have power in the Senate. Now that Democrats do have power, this law might go through. Even after this event, nothing has changed. Trump is still not president, and now five people are dead. This event has changed America as a whole. Here's what Arnold Schwarzenegger had to say about this event. Now, I grew up in Austria. I'm very aware of Kristallnacht, or the night of broken glass. It was a night of rampage against the Jews carried out in 1938 by the Nazi equivalent of the Proud Boys. Wednesday was the day of broken glass right here in the United States. The broken glass was in the windows of the United States Capitol. But the mob did not just shatter the windows of the Capitol. They shattered the ideals we took for granted. They did not just break down the doors of the building that housed the American democracy. They trampled the very principles on which our country was founded. 
President Trump sought to overturn the results of an election and of a fair election. He sought a coup by misleading people with lies. My father and our neighbors were misled also with lies. And I know where such lies lead. President Trump is a failed leader. He will go down in history as the worst president ever. The good thing is that he soon will be as irrelevant as an old tweet. But what are we to make of those elected officials who have enabled his lies and his treachery? I will remind them of what Teddy Roosevelt said. Patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president. Our democracy has been tempered by wars, injustices, and insurrections. I believe, as shaken as we are by the events of recent days, we will come out stronger because we now understand what can be lost. Thanks for listening, Wolfpack. I'm Josiah Edwards. Back to you, Anchors. That was really informational. Thank you. Now we have Paula and Gabby talking about the new in and out coming in our grove. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Paul Sabulo, and we're here to tell you about new restaurants coming to Elk Grove. in and out one of the largest California burger chains, is set to open a new location in Elk Grove. Carl Arena, Vice President of Real Estate and Development at in and out says the soon-to-be restaurant will open at the Ridge Shopping Center, the same complex that holds Costco. The new restaurant will be on the corner of Elk Grove Boulevard and Bruceville. The current Elk Grove in and out is about three miles away on the corner of Bond Road and East Stockton Boulevard. The plans are currently in the review process and will take approximately five to six months for construction. However, it's still early to predict when this new In-N-Out will be open. A second In-N-Out isn't the only new restaurant coming to Elk Grove. Raising Cane's, a fast food chain known for its chicken fingers, is rumored to be replacing On the Border, which was located near Elk Grove's first In-N-Out. Their menu consists of chicken tenders, fries, coleslaw, Texas toast, and the special cane sauce. Be sure to check out these new and upcoming restaurants. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Spulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Back to the anchors. Can't wait to see it. Thanks, guys. Now we have Sienna reporting on the holiday choir. Thursday before Christmas break, Mrs. Ball hosted an online choir concert where students got to perform any song they wanted. Ranging performances from solo to... Just To duets. Every little thing that we are wearing. When a certain gentleman arrived from Rome, she wore the dress and I stayed home. To quartet. Da -dee -da, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Then tell her that it's on some nights are over. The lineup was amazing. Thanks, Sienna. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. Remember, the strength of the wolf is a pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf.